if you think you're a good programmer, take a moment and see if you can find a bug in this piece of code. Post a video and see if you can find it. If you weren't able to find it, don't worry because I wouldn't be able to find it either. But let's see what happens when we change the file extension from JavaScript to TypeScript. And instantly these red lines appear. And what we find out is that is number doesn't even exist. And the way we can check if a value is a number is by just calling number. And we can even see it in the browser that is working correctly. And this is just one of the many reasons why I recommend every JavaScript developer to learn TypeScript. And in this video, we're gonna go over all of the reasons why I like TypeScript. And at the end of the video, if you still don't like TypeScript, you can just go ahead and dislike this video. I am that confident you will end up liking it. Now, one of the main reasons I hear about why you shouldn't learn TypeScript is that it takes longer time to write. I would like to argue that the time you spend writing the code you will save by not having to find so many bugs. So let's look at an example using React. So here I have a very simple component button that just takes some text and shows it in the button. And we are using the component here to show the text press me. And let's look at the browser how it looks like. Well, we see the button there, but there is no text. What's going on? The code compiles and there's no error showing. What's wrong? And this is the exact problem with JavaScript. Your code might seem completely fine, but there's some hidden bug somewhere and we don't know what it is. So again, let's change the file extensions to TypeScript and see what happens. Okay, this is how our button component looks like in TypeScript. And we can see some red lines on the props. And it implicitly has any type. Now, if you don't know TypeScript, this might seem like gibberish to you. So let's see how we can fix this. Because this is a React functional component, we can give it type FC, which stands for functional component. And the red line disappears here, but we get it over here. Property label does not exist on type children. And this error means that the FC type doesn't have the type label in there. Because FC is a generic type, we can extend it to add label, which is a string. And this way we can fix all the errors. Now let's look at the page where we are using this component. And we see this red line here, type name does not exist on type. And we even see here the label string which we added, which gives us a hint that this was actually a typo. So let's rename name to label. And we can see all the errors disappeared. And if we look at the browser, hold on. Okay, just one moment. All right. Now it's showing and we can see that text is showing over here. So this is how TypeScript helps us to solve the bugs. And the crazy thing is, if we had used TypeScript from the beginning, we would have never even gotten this bug in the first place. And this way TypeScript basically forces you to write good code. Now my last tip doesn't have anything to do with programming, but instead getting a job, which I know a lot of you are looking for. So if we look at this recent survey from Stack Overflow, we can see that TypeScript jobs pay around 10% more than JavaScript ones. This is because TypeScript has a little bit higher skill ceiling. It's a little bit more difficult to learn. And a lot of big companies are actually moving to TypeScript. And if we look at the job availability, we can see there's over 200 jobs in Germany right now. So TypeScript is definitely not a niche language anymore. A lot of companies are using it and I would say it's a more impressive skill on your resume than JavaScript. So if you're serious about getting a web development job, I would definitely learn TypeScript. Now in this video, we just went over the good parts. And if you're serious about learning it, check out my video where I use TypeScript and React pretty extensively and it will give you a good foundation to learn more advanced stuff.
Now if you liked this video or learned anything from it, hit the like button and subscribe. And I see you guys next time.